Hey everyone, welcome back and I want to start by saying thank you so much for all the engagement and your support on my tutorial videos, keeping me inspired to create more content and make more tutorials for you. So if you haven't seen any of the previous parts, I would highly recommend going back and watching those ones first, as this is a little bit more advanced, so if you would like to start from scratch, I will leave a link in the description for all the previous tutorials that I've made before this one. Right then, well today we're just going to be doing something real quick, which is adding a weapon to our character. So let's get this started. You don't really have to follow this part here. All I'm doing is just switching back to the Unreal Engine mannequin just to give us a little bit more focus on what we're about to do today and moving forward, which is gonna be based on adding actors and focusing on weapon mechanics. In case anybody's starting from this point, we don't then have to be confused with the character mesh and you know all the different animations and retargeting that we've done previously. If you are interested how I've managed to quickly change the color of the mannequin, that's actually really easy and I can show you that real quick. So all you need to do is just find the folder where the mannequin is located, open up the skeletal mesh, and then you'll be able to see on the top left here a material slot. Uh, double click to open this up which will take you into the material blueprint. On the top here you can see it simply says body color and then you can double click to open that up and change it to any color you like. And there you go, you've got a purple mannequin and that will actually be quite helpful in the future if you'd like to have different colors for say NPCs or enemies versus your main character, so there we go. Okay, one more thing I'd like to change actually, if we go to the animation blueprint and go to the animgraph tab, open up the state machine, and inside here if we double click to open up the idle animation, and at the moment we've got a hip fire idle, I'd like to change that to more of a aim down sight so you can be able to see the weapon in front of you. So we're going to remove that one and we'll look for another idle animation. So I think this one is called idle iron sight. So we'll select that and we'll just connect it to the output pose. And that should work all fine. So it looks a little bit better now with his hand in front of his face where you can actually see the weapon once we've added it. So that's just something simple that I wanted to change as well. Okay then moving on we're going to open the FPS weapon bundle folder and inside here we're going to create a new folder and we're going to call that weapon BP or weapon blueprint. Then inside the folder right click and select a blueprint class and we're going to select an actor class this time. Let's call this rifle 1 and double click to open it up. Now this is going to be your best friend going forward and what I mean by this is the actor class basically will have almost unlimited possibilities. Um, as you can see, we can add all sorts of components that it would take me years to be able to cover every single uh, type of actor. But for now, we're just going to be selecting a skeletal mesh. And that's also named that rifle one. Now, let's actually go back first before we add any weapons to that mesh and find out what weapon we're going to go for. So if we go back to the weapon bundle folder, I think we'll go for that AK-47, looks good. By the way, if you don't know where we got all these weapons, I'll leave a card in the top right for the video showing where we're able to download all these assets for free. Right, so we've got the name of the mesh, let's go back to our actor and find that mesh to add it to our actor. So bottom right, open up the drop down list and I think it was called SKAR4. 
and just click on it to select it and there we go we've now added a weapon to this actor that now can easily be attached to our character so before we create the blueprint to spawn the weapon on the character let's first do something that will be very handy so if you go back to the third person character blueprint if you click on the magnifying glass that will take you to the folder that has the character skeleton so what we need to do here is we're going to go into the skeleton and i'm going to show you a really neat trick before creating a blueprint to spawn the weapon on your character okay so the first thing we're going to do is go to the top where it says preview animation we're going to drop that down and select the idle animation that we're working with which is the rifle iron sight which will then put the character in this animation to preview it which is awesome because then we can see how the weapon is going to look when we spawn it so the next thing we're going to do is find out where we're going to actually attach the weapon to and obviously you want to do it to one of the character's hands so let's select his right hand find out the name of this specific bone and then we're going to right click and create socket for this specific bone let's also name that rifle one R for right hand to keep things organized and then what we're going to do is right click and select add preview asset and then we're going to search for our actor the blueprint actor that we've just created and added the weapon to it will be attached to the bone that we've selected you just have to make sure that it's adjusted correctly to, to look a little bit better and make it look you know as realistic as possible and when you're happy with that we're gonna then move on to create the blueprint to spawn that weapon onto your character okay so we're gonna create that spawn blueprint inside the third person character just to make things easy and simple we're not gonna do a custom event which people may um, criticize me for it but i'm just trying to keep it simple so what we're going to do is just drag from the already existing uh, event begin play and we're going to type in spawn actor from class and all we have to do here to make sure that our hud is still being added to viewport is use a sequence so if you drag again and type in sequence And we'll just have the then zero go into the spawn actor from class and the then one will be the create uh, hud widget cool so next we need to select the class which is the rifle one actor so we'll just type in rifle one and select that and then outside if you just right click and type in get actor and what we're looking for basically is the get actor transform so we'll connect that to the spawn transform on the spawn actor from class uh, node and then we'll select always spawn ignore collision drag out from the return value and let's say attach actor to component so obviously our parent is the mesh itself we can simply drag that from the top left and just connect it to the parent and then going down the socket name on the parent on the character is obviously the socket that we've created which the easiest way to get is just to go back and right click rename copy the name of the socket and go back and just paste it in here just to make sure that it's accurate and you haven't mistyped or um, made a typo that could potentially make things not work underneath the socket name make sure that you select everything to snap to target and let's compile that save and go and press play to have a look to see if it's working okay perfect so the weapon is spawned correctly and it's attached to our character and it looks good it just needs a little bit of adjusting just so it can look a little bit more realistic just gonna make it look like this and there we go it looks awesome so as you can see there's no clipping inside the weapon itself but I am pretty sure yet yeah, there's going to be clipping inside the walls but that's something that we can fix later with collision but for now you've got yourself a weapon spawning on your character as soon as you hit play or as soon as you start your game basically 
Okay, so just to keep things organized as always, let's go back, select everything that we've done, uh, press C to make a comment, and we'll call that section spawn weapon. Keep it simple. Give it a color that you like, and compile and save that, and you're all good to go. So this will do it for today's tutorial. I wanted to keep it short and simple. I did actually manage to find a tutorial that I never posted about creating an in-game menu and how to pause the game. This is pretty much done. All I'm doing is the finishing touches on it at the moment, and that should hopefully be posted within the next week or so. But other than that, I just wanted to say again, thank you so much for being supportive and keeping me inspired to make more videos. Until next time.